Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, welcome to the one who seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking today? Okay. Channeling my dog karma on meditation. So we're going to spray pure love. Or we're not. We're going <laughs> to. We're going to dab pure love. Because the sprayer does not work. doing today do I hope let's see if we can get some light up in here all right um let's light this one over here too So we're going to do my, my spread that we did last time. You, them, relationship, situation, the unseen, the action you need to take, and the outcome. If you take that action. Okay. Take this time to call in spirits of loving nature. Let me be an open and clear channel for the messages coming through for the collective today. What do you want us to know for our best interest and the best interest of others and the world around us? Thank you for being here, protecting us, guiding us. Hmm. That candle went out already. <laughs> so as I sit here and I, I close my eyes, I can feel the heat of this candle on my face and I can even with my eyes closed, I can see the waves of that heat kind of waving in my mind's eye, right? Because I have my eyes closed. Kind of like the ocean ripple or like um, a lake. More of like a pond, though. Quietly rippling. 
against the shore. But feeling the heat on my face. Very, um, kind of beach like atmosphere. Right? It was karma, uh, channeling karma, my dog. And uh, we were playing on the beach. She loves to play ball on the beach, jump in the waves. So I do feel her here. Um, all right, so I wanted to do the Joking Hazard deck. So, woo. And as, as everything topples over, so I can show you which deck that I'm using. Alright, all right. so I got the Joking Hazard. It's a, an offensive card game, so we don't really know what's going to pop out there. Um, but I really called to use this one today. Uh, we have the Character Oracle. It's going to help define who we're talking about. Alright, uh, we're going to have Star Codes, Astro Oracle. And the tarot deck that we're using today is Crystal Visions Tarot. Okay, if I have a clarifier, I will be using the Midnight Magic Tarot deck of Mushrooms. Alright, which is also a Karma deck, so pretty interesting. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use these three decks to kind of get an idea of what we um, are going to be talking about today before we dive into the tarot. Okay, so this is the joking hazard, so those who are not... The joking kind, you might not want to watch this one. <laughs> um, let's see what pops out. And it's funny because as I'm thinking about doing this deck and then I'm thinking about my friend Catherine who just had a birthday, happy birthday, and uh, her fiance, Robert, and he's always joking around. And uh, I was kind of channeling him a little bit, too. So this one's for you, Robert and Catherine. Okay. Doctor, I don't feel so great. And we have an upset stomach here, and they're sweating. Ooh. This one looks like the full moon. What is that? It's like a band or something that has that moon. I think it's a band. It has the moon and then the rocket gets shot into it. Um, I saw a few documentaries and on YouTube about that. I um, can't remember what it's called though. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so it looks like my first instinct with this is somebody's like poisoned you on purpose for fun, not like to kill you, but as a prank. And uh, they're very excited that you're feeling sick here. But actually, and this is a green shirt, so this is you as well. So I don't know what's going on if this were you. This is definitely the other person, somebody who's trying to disguise themselves. Like as you. Right, and they're sticking their butt in your face. They are rubbing it in. Um, some sort of payback for something. This could be like 
your buddies, maybe you guys do this and you're like practical jokers or something and you just play pranks on each other all the time. And so this is, you know, the shit grin on your face here, pun intended. It's an interesting one. So, you know, this could be a sibling as well. You know, siblings always play pranks on each other. All right. So let's see. Let's find out who this person is here. Musician, composer of harmony, creation, passion, soulful sound, celebration. So maybe this is happening at like some sort of a party. Blacksmith, forge, melt, shaping, tempering. This muscle guy. Clergy, guardians of faith, religion, morality, compassion, sacred mission. And we'll do one more. Ninja, master of stealth, shadow walker, bushadu. Alright. Now these are all kind of um feels like all over kind of energy, like just all over the place here. Um so definitely I feel like this is happening at some sort of party, like a rave. Right, because we have this uh musician here. Yeah, it could even be like Burning Man because there's so many different things happening. You have the blacksmith, which you could see at Burning Man for sure. Somebody forging. Um, maybe making jewelry or like weapons. Yeah, probably against making the weapons for sure, but... Um, Okay, so I'm getting, like, marriage here in a church. Right? And Burning Man is kind of um, a lot like a church to most people who go, you know, who have been going for many years, every year. That is their church. That's something that they look forward to and plan for. And then they go out and they have fun and they, you know, play with their friends, right? Play jokes on their friends. Um, maybe it's really hot out there, out in the playa. And then we have Ninja, Master of Stealth, Shadow Walker, Bushadu. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I just feel like maybe you need to watch your back, right? Because there's definitely this person who is doing something in the shadows. Got a master of stealth. Maybe they're really good at pranking you. And this is something that you do every year while you're at Burning Man. Um, is you set up some sort of an elaborate prank with your friends. Yeah, it doesn't have to be Burning Man either. It could be anywhere, um, really. Any kind of festival, feels more like a festival. You know, big congregation, that's a big church. And somewhere where you would be able to um, be doing blacksmithing. I mean, festivals, they have jewelry that they sell 
they're not necessarily forging it there. Uh, it could be even like, reminds me of like a Renaissance fair, right? And they have a lot of religion back in that day. Um, which reminds me of like Europe and they have these big, beautiful churches. And I'm just like picturing some like ninja, some um, parkour person jumping from roof to roof in Italy somewhere. Okay, I remember being, I think in, in like the Brussels area. Can't remember where we were. I think that it was in the Brussels area and, um, you know, we're up top and so we're overlooking this whole area and it just looked like you can really just walk from house to house, on, from roof to roof. Okay. Capricorn, achieve. 10, this is endings and new beginnings. Solar calm, clarify. This reminds me of music, right? Like the, um, the rhythm of music and like what I picture it would look like, you know, especially if you're like on acid or something or mushrooms, um, you know, you can like literally see music, like uh, visual lyrics, which is one of my, my names, my brand names. And it's based off of that is, you know, being able to see your feelings basically because if lyrics have um they touch your heart right and they remind you of things they take you back in time to another place you can see patterns and shapes and vibrations and ripples I don't know what this achieve is. This is uh, 17, I mean 16, which is a seven. So it's spirituality, that's connecting to your spirituality, your crown chakra, your intuition, right? Use your intuition to feel this ninja coming up on you. Woohoo, lost half the deck there. Um, Capricorn. So I am creating some content that has the zodiacs. I'm just like kind of in my note phase and my um, kind of collecting information, uh, studying, getting different information from different resources and trying to combine them together for information that I feel like I need when I'm doing a tarot reading. Um, you know, based on the zodiac signs. I don't know all of them by heart, so I kind of have to study them. And the more I'm like writing everything down, you know, over and over again, and the, the different, um, you know, the elements and the quality and the energy, uh, the planets, it, the more it's kind of sinking in, right? So let's talk about the Capricorn here. So Capricorn is December 21st to January 20th. It is the solstice. Um, 
it has the longest night. Excuse me. Uh, this is times of extremes, right? So something is going to um, change. very suddenly like a, um, a new door opening okay this is ruled by Saturn it's about discipline Saturday and the metal lead so authority administrator strategist and a hermit okay and this person is to pursue and achieve goals in alignment with the highest personal integrity. Okay, and the tarot cards that correlate with that are the devil and the world card. So it's about being like shackled, um, but you're able to get out of that. You're not really shackled, right? The devil has you in shackles, but you can leave at any time. You can just take off those handcuffs and walk away. Um, so it's it's torture from, you know, self-torture, basically. Um, and the world card, again, is the 10. And that's about endings and new beginnings. And it's also about travel. So maybe you are like a DJ and you're traveling a lot, doing all these different events and you're just having a good time, right? Maybe you're doing it with uh, some buddies. Okay, and you're, you're coming at it full force here. Right, and um, you're about determination, self-discipline, discipline. Right, but sometimes you can um, feel a little lonely. Maybe your buddies aren't with you all the time. You know, traveling on the road and doing those things can feel a little lonely. Sometimes I feel like Virgo, digest some wheat. Virgos are about perfectionism, service to others. All right. So let's see, we have um, earth energy, two earth energies. Virgo is earth as well. Yeah, two earth energies here, the Capricorn and the Virgo. Um, earth is about tangible things, uh, abundance, money, spirituality. being grounded it's very slow moving it's, it's the slowest moving it's almost like being stuck standing in place but you also have um what is that i guess like a, a, a ram um yeah it's a ram right if it's not a ram, let me know what it is. Put it in the comments. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Virgo is about um, being subject to change. They're adaptable. Their tarot cards are the magi magician and the hermit. All right, and... The magician puts a bunch of ingredients together to create something like instantly. So it's funny that we have like the pinnacles of where we're standing still, but we're creating something instantly. 
right? Which really does remind me of a festival, right? So you're moving, you're moving, you're moving from place to place. It's hurry, 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 set up, break down. Um, and then you're stationary for a period of time, you know, usually through the weekend or maybe even through the week. Um, all right, so we already have the Capricorn and Virgo. Let's see here. And we have I love. And we have spirit. All right, connect with your your spirit guides. Okay. And I'm gonna pull out uh, two two more signs. Okay. Uh, so this one is. Oh shit. So that is Libra, I believe. About balance. And then we have the bull, it's Taurus. Oh, I don't know where my little cheat sheet went. Oh, here we go. Cheat sheet, see? I'm gonna have some cheat sheets. So, um, yeah, Libra. Yay, I got it right. So, and Taurus. Perfect. Yeah. Definitely, um, you know, learning a lot here. You know, about symbols and what they mean, what they represent. Okay, Libra. All right, and Libra is um, on an equinox. So it's perfect balance between day and night. Yeah, what, 12 hours each, day and night. And um, it's about abrupt change. So I feel like there's a lot of abrupt change going on with you. Okay, Venus is values. It's a Friday. Copper. So we have copper and iron. And then we have our blacksmith here. That reminds me of like electricity. I don't know that you have iron and electricity, but uh, definitely copper. All right, and that's the Empress and the Justice card. They're um, about being a peacemaker, a lover, and a partner. So, and then Taurus is the peacemaker. All right, they're the Earth Spirit. They are also Venus, Values, Friday, Copper. So definitely um, something a lot about things that are, are worth a lot. Like Copper's worth a lot of money, right? Wheat is worth a lot of money. Wheat's a huge industry because wheat's in like pretty much everything, especially if you bake. So I feel like, you know, and you have pentacles here as well, that you are, you are very um, wealthy and abundant in your passion and also in money. Like you're making a lot of money doing this, traveling around. Okay, and you really enjoy people watching and being with other people and um, experiencing their joy and fun. Okay. So 
but let's see, let's just go on top of it. So we'll get into the actual tarot here. All right. So we're gonna do you. I almost feel like this animal would eat the wheat as well. I don't know if that's true or not. But um, I feel like you're going full force with this and you're well fed and nourished in every aspect of your life. Uh, you have your friends there playing around with you and playing jokes with you and you're playing music and you're traveling and you're meeting new people and you're creating jewelry in what you feel like is your church. It's like heaven on earth for you. Maybe you're a little under the radar though. Maybe you're like an introvert because I got the ninja here. You know, and Virgo is about the hermit who, like, goes within to find clarity. Okay. So this is you. Them. And the relationship. Of swords, Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands. Mm -hmm. God, I feel like there's no room here, right? Okay, spread out, spread out. Okay, we got a lot of purple going on here, and then it turns into like a lot of orange red color here. So I feel like your mood is changing, uh, like a mood ring. Maybe you create mood rings. Okay, we have, um, see once again, we have you sitting still and then we have you moving again. And here we go, that's our forging, right? There's that staff, we have our jewelry and then it, we also have our shield here. So I do feel like this has a, a very strong renaissance -y feel to it. So maybe you are forging weapons. <laughs> All right, here you are sitting with your um, sword there, proud. You got your, your king's crown on there, which you probably made as well. Right? I do feel like you make jewelry because we do have the Knight of Cups who is um, very romantic. All right, maybe offering you a ring. Looks like he might have a ring in his hand there. It's very shiny. This could be like some sort of a um, proposal. I will be your knight in shining armor kind of feeling. So maybe you're somebody's knight in shining armor. You are very romantic. Because this is you. And this is them. The moon, page of pentacles, three of pentacles, and two of cups. Oh, so romantic. This person very romantic and they um they really know about themselves this would be somebody playing music with you uh they are very majestic here in the moon right this almost feels like 
uh, the high priestess, the all knowing. And uh, the moon is about the shadow sides of things, the things that you don't know, that are unseen, that need to come to light. But it looks like you're, this person is standing in their light. You know, this is a full moon for sure. It's very bright. They're being illuminated. There's rebirth and growth here with these butterflies and we have flowers. These um, dogs or wolves are really admiring this woman. Doesn't have to be a woman either. Um, that's just the gender that's on here on the card. So it could have either energy, man or woman or whatever. Um, This person is very abundant and they're very relaxed and they're probably another vendor at this festival, right? I do feel like uh, they are looking for a partner. They want some unity. Uh, you could be working together. Let's find out the relationship. The Emperor, oh, Ace of Cups, oh my goodness. Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords. Wow, that's um threw me for a loop there because this was very beautiful. Energy here. Um, I feel like you're the Empress to this Emperor or vice versa. which is a really good balance, right? And we do have Libra here with balance. You know, these are offerings. These are, the aces are the entire suit. We're offering the entire suit. I am offering you all of my emotions. I am offering you my mind. I also feel like I'm offering you my skills, right? Because here we go with the sword again that you forged. You probably even forged this cup because it looks like it's metal. And there's a lot of growth here. Um, messages, this looks like ancestors. Okay, it looks like you're even in the shade here because it's like some, I don't know if this is like goo dripping down on the top of this card or it's just like the tree that's overhanging. Right, I feel like you might be shaded, shielding yourself maybe. I feel like you're kind of shielding yourself here as well or, you know, this is the relationship But there is some sort of heartbreak going on. Maybe this is old wounds, right? And maybe this person is going to heal these old wounds. When you guys come together. And you're going to create something beautiful together. I feel like um, this person is going to protect you or vice versa. You're going to protect somebody else. All right, so let's talk about the situation. That's these three cards going down. Oh, so the situation, <laughs> this person is definitely admiring it, or you are admiring this person because this is you and this is them, the situation here, and this is the relationship, right? So you are admiring this person who is coming out of the shadows and has dealt with their shadow work. There's no baggage, so to speak. 
right? It's the full moon. They're releasing negative energy, releasing, letting go. And you're really admiring this and are in awe. And this is how the person makes you feel. Like, reminds me of like butterflies in your stomach, like you're holding your stomach, but it's like so bright and shiny and beautiful at the same time. And it's like, this bird is giving you more of it, right? The message is, I want more. So you really want this person. You are yearning for this person. You have a very strong connection. The unseen is this Knight of Cups, right? This, that you are very romantic, but also can be very manipulative at times. It could be a little bit of a player. Maybe you're not ready to settle down. This person's ready to settle down. Yeah. You kind of want to play the field a little bit. Like you have this yearning for this person, but are kind of unsure, right? The night is about teenagers. So the relationship is still in its infancy and this is still a young person and they kind of want to go live their life before they settle down. Right? So this is you. You don't want to settle down. But they do. They want to offer you a lot of abundance. Right? Offering you the cup. A lot of love. You want to offer this to the person. See? And every time I try to talk about this, I'm not getting switched around of who's who, right? This is you, this is them. This is the relationship. But it's like, I can't keep it straight in my head, right? So there might be a lot of vice versa here going on. That might mean something to someone. Um, maybe you have many partners, right? Like the player... You have many partners and it's hard to keep track of these different relationships or something. And who's who. And, um, you know, wondering if, like, are you the chaser or are you the runner? Um, are you being chased? Yeah. Okay, and the action that you need to take, ooh, interesting. So we have two aces here, and they both kind of look like swords. This is actually a wand. Um, there's definitely fast movement, very fast movement here. Except for this three of pentacles looks a little slow. But there's um, a lot that you want to offer as far as your passion goes. You know, that might be creating something like uh, some sort of business together or just having a family together and um, just, you know, working your land, your home. is the whole like Adam and Eve we got apples in the tree here so the action you need to take is to offer this person your passion and your mind There's definitely feels like a collaboration of um, 
whatever this is you're doing at these festivals, whatever it is you're selling or making, you want this person to join you and be a part of it. So you need to make that offer. Okay, and then the outcome, <laughs> you're, you're really shielding yourself from offering these wands to this person, even though you really want to, and this person really wants you to, because you're afraid that this person is gonna reject you and break your heart. You're afraid to open yourself up to this person, even though you long for them, and you absolutely want this Two of Cups. And you're just breaking your heart either way, right? By not offering these aces to this other person, you're breaking your own heart. Because you're afraid of rejection and afraid of breaking, having your heart broken. So you're just doing it to yourself. Right? So that could be what that is. You're doing it to yourself. And that's what I was asking about. This guy in the green shirt is supposed to be the green shirt, right? Because there's two blues. So I feel like you are doing this to yourself. It's almost like a split personality. There's not really anybody else there. Okay. Mm hmm Well. All right, I think uh, I like the spread. I think I get pretty good information. Um, please let me know in the comments if you got a lot of information off of my spread or not. Um, you know, work, what worked for you or didn't work for you? Any suggestions? Just comment, please. And like, share, subscribe. Let me know what resonated with you. you know, only take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. Don't try to make the story fit if it doesn't fit for you. All right, so at this time, I please ask you to subscribe. Hit the notifications so that you get a uh, notification every time I upload a new video so that you can watch that and uh, like, share, comment. I uh, appreciate you all being here. I appreciate you guys watching and sticking with me. And um, yeah, I'm only going to get better from here. So uh, stick around and see what happens. Watch me grow. Okay. Thank you. I love you. Have a wonderful day and uh, offer this love to this person. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's a risk either way, but being afraid of it, like this doesn't fit, right? This is so separate from everything else that we see here and how beautiful this is. This is a beautiful love. Stop being afraid. jump in. All right. I love y'all. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.